Hello there and welcome to another cool smartphone unboxing with me Gary. Now today we're going to be unboxing something a little bit exciting. This is the Mizu MX4 Ubuntu Touch Edition. Now I need to say this is a semi unboxing because I have actually taken the device out and done the initial setup on it and it is actually completely out of power at the moment. However, I will be doing a hands-on video uh, with the UX a little bit later. So moving on to uh, the case in point, we have here a micro USB adapter, which is a 240 volt and 5 volt output um, at 2 amps. So my, that's a USB there. And here is our... USB to micro USB power supply, fairly standard power supply like you would see on any other smartphone these days, apart from maybe the OnePlus One. Some warranty terms and conditions there from Mizu in Chinese, and then um, again some SAR information again in Chinese with English on the other side. Um, that's pretty much all you get in the box. There's no headphones because Mizu sell their own headphones, so we'll move away from that. And then we have this little package here, which is a little book. And at the back, we have hiding the actual phone itself. Now you'll notice here that this is saying Flyme 4. Flyme 4 is the operating system that Mizu use on their Android variant of this phone, which is more widely known. This is a Android, also sold as an Android device. So you can see here we have a gorgeous 5.36 inch LED display that uh, comes in at a resolution of 1920 by 1152 with a 418 pixel per inch density. Um, it is a very bright display, it's also got Gorilla Glass 3 and um, I didn't really have to have the brightness turned up that much at all. I've not done a lux measurement on it because I just don't have that equipment to hand. The rear camera um, on this phone is a beauty. It's a 20.7 megapixel camera which I've got a lot of experience with using as it is the same camera as what is in my Xperia Z3 and also in the Xperia Z3 Compact. There's a four times digital zoom on that and a 300 degree panorama lens. Now it does have a slightly larger lens than the one on the Xperia and that is uh, Mizu's own proprietary lens and it is a five element lens. It also has a blue filter on it. This um, tones down some of the bright colours in the photos but it makes them still appear quite real. The front camera is up here and we have a 2 megapixel Sony camera again, it is also a 4 element lens and it's a blue glass filter. It has an f2.0 and a 77 wide, an wide angle lens. On the back we've got f2.2, same as on the Sony. So powering this, uh, we, ha we do have a MediaTek chip, it's the MT6595 and it is a Mizu customised version. We've also got a PowerVR graphics chip running um, on the G6200 GPU, again Mizu customised, and the chip will run at, as it's a quad core, its maximum cores will run at 2.2 gig and the uh, lower tier cores run at 1.7. 2 gig of um, RAM on board, so pretty good for what you're getting. Ubuntu is actually quite light on RAM, so 2 gig is more than sufficient. Uh, it's 4G, 3G, 2G, and also Wi-Fi, AC, N, G, B, A, Wi-Fi bands, and it will support 2.4 gig and 5 gig. It's also Bluetooth 4.0. It uh, has GPS, uh, GNSS, and GLONASS and a digital compass, you've got all the sensors you can shake a stick at and um, that's about it for specs. Let's just have a little look around the device. So starting at the top we've got our forward facing speaker, our K 
camera lens and also our light sensor. On the bottom you have a home key that would be used for the home button in Android. However, it also does work as a home button in the Ubuntu Touch ROM, however you don't need it. Um, up the top we've got a 3.5mm headphone jack, a mic and a power button. That doubles as sleep wake. On the left hand side we have a volume button which is quite pronounced so quite easy to get to and it falls nicely under your forefinger if you're right handed. Um, on the right hand side it is totally clean, there's nothing here apart from a little break at the top uh, for the antenna and that is mirrored at various different points around the phone. On the bottom you can see we have a speaker, a micro USB charging jack and also our mic. Um, which is the main one. The one you saw at the top there was a noise cancellation. The back is removable. However, it is only removable to show you that you've got a single SIM slot. Now I currently have a EE SIM in there um, and I've been doing some data tests on that and it seems to be pretty good. Um, sealed battery is non-removable. You could theoretically remove it if you were to take all this exterior casing off, but it's not designed to be. You've got on the back here again, you've got your 20.7 meg sensor and you've also got your dual tone LED flash. So that is a quick tour of the device. Let's see if it's going to power up. As I said, I think the battery may be out and it definitely does seem to be. So what I will do is I will do a further hands-on video to give you a demo of the UI. Now, for those of you who have been following my Ubuntu journey, you will be aware that I've also been testing another phone from Ubuntu. Now this one, the BQ Aquarius E5, this came out slightly before the Mizu and it does come in at a much lower price point, which does make it quite interesting. I'm actually just about to send this one away as the review is now done. However, I thought we would take the opportunity to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. Now this one did have a 5-inch screen, however this screen was only a 720p screen and this is a 1080p screen. Also, spec-wise, this is very much a flagship phone, whereas this was more of a mid-tier device. They are pretty comparative with regard to the size. So that is a size comparison for thickness there, and also one on the rear. You can see, however, that the Mizu is wider. Now that does make a difference. And the difference is noticeable when you're trying to get across here for gestures. This is a two-handed device. Don't let it fool you. I have got reasonably large hands. They're not that small. But I'm having to use two hands on this. So, that is a very, very quick unboxing of the Mizu MX4 Ubuntu Touch Edition. And there will be a full review of this going up on CoolSmartphone.com in the next couple of weeks. If you've got any questions, please feel free to put them below in the comments. But also, I'd really like it if you could subscribe over here somewhere, as it will help us to keep videos like this coming to you. Also feel free to check out www.coolsmartphone.com for loads of content like this and there is also a really cool weekly podcast where we discuss things all techie. Thanks very much and goodbye.